Among the most obvious and important dial plan applications are those devoted to call control. The dial application is simultaneously one of the simplest and one of the most complicated applications within Asterisk. Its primary purpose is to attempt to connect the current channel to another device or endpoint. The device being dialed is specified as the first parameter given to the dial application, with the channel technology listed first, then a slash, then the device name. An optional second parameter tells Asterisk how many seconds to try to dial. If the call is not answered in the specified timeout period, the dial application exits and the dial plan execution continues at the next priority. If no timeout is specified, Asterisk will continue ringing the far end device indefinitely until the calling channel is hung up. After the timeout parameter, additional options to modify the behavior of app dial can be listed. In Asterisk 1.8, there are almost 40 different options to fine tune dial's behavior. These options do things like configure transfer and record abilities, limit call duration, or update caller ID settings. To see a whole list of options dial allows, run core show application dial on the Asterisk console. Next is the answer application. As you might guess, this application answers a ringing channel. When the application is called, Asterisk sends an indication that the channel has answered to the far side of the call, using the appropriate messaging for the protocol of that channel. The call detail record, or CDR, reflects the call as answered at the timestamp when the actual answer occurs. A call can be processed in the dial plan without being answered, but some applications require that the call be answered before they do anything meaningful. Music on hold is one such example. Other audio applications, such as playback, will answer the call for you unless you specifically pass the No Answer option. Passing the No Answer option to playback tells the channel to play the audio without answering the call, if it can. This is useful when you want Asterisk to send early media, also known as pre-audio. Calling the answer application on a call which has already been answered has no effect. The hang-up application is straightforward. It hangs up the channel that calls it, ending the dial plan execution. Asterisk will automatically hang up a channel if it is bridged to another channel in a two-way telephone call and either end hangs up. Asterisk also automatically hangs up a channel even if it's not bridged after it executes the application of the last priority for that extension. The hang-up application explicitly tells Asterisk to disconnect a call, regardless of whether there are priorities after the hang-up. Normal dial plan execution stops when a call is hung up. It's good practice to have hang-up be the last application for each extension in your dial plan. As we'll discuss later, pattern matches and dynamic routing can cause Asterisk to execute priorities you don't intend. Explicitly calling a hang-up priority at the end of an extension helps prevent this. Other call control applications worth knowing about include the Busy, Congestion, Transfer, and Progress applications. We won't discuss them all in detail, but we recommend you run Core Show Application for each one to learn its behavior and syntax. Next, we'll discuss Call Services applications.